Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about break, labeled break, continue and labeled continue features available in Java. So before starting, you can note down my information. These information will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. So first break statement. Uh, I hope you have studied break in C and C++ languages also. So break is used to terminate the execution of loop or switch statement. So here is an example in which I have, I have used a for loop. Uh, inside for loop, I have used break to terminate its execution. So uh, first name of class is break test, then main function is defined. Inside main, I have used for loop, which is starting from one and condition is less than equals to 10. Then count plus plus, then uh, there is a condition if count double equals to one and with the if condition break uh, keyword is available so uh, if count uh, uh, sorry value of count is equals to 5 uh, then this condition will be true and break will terminate the execution of loop so this loop will repeat only four times it will print 1 2 3 and 4 on the console but when the value of count is equals to 5 then uh, the break will terminate the execution of this for loop so after termination uh, this print Allen statement will print broke out of loop at count and here value of count will be 5. So when the count value of count is 5, then uh, the execution of loop automatically terminates because of a break keyword. So similar to break, uh, there is a new feature uh, which is available in Java that is labeled break. So in case of labeled break, we can uh, use labels in the program like first, second and third. So each lab label uh, contains their separate block which is enclosed inside curly braces. So this is the third block, this is second block and this is first block. So inside third block uh, I have used a uh, if condition. Uh, in if condition t variable is used which is of boolean type and its value is true by default. So if uh, t uh, condition is true, then uh, break keyword will call second label. So it means if this condition is true, control will automatically break the label number second. So uh, first label uh, is nested uh, second and second nested third. So inside third if condition is used. So this time if is true, so break will terminate the second uh, block. So it, mean, it means con control will come out uh, from second block. So the control will directly come out uh, at uh, this printf, uh, sorry, print ln statement. This is after second block. So this statement will be printed after termination of second block. And inside uh, uh, third block, uh, before the break will be printed on console. So uh, this program will print to output break uh, before the break, and this is after second block. So this is the use of label break. Uh, you can define various uh, labels and with the help of label break you can uh, come out from any particular label. Next is continue statement. So uh, continue is also available in C and C++ programming languages. So again I have uh, used loop because uh, we can use continue only inside the loop. So uh, it will not terminate the execution loop, uh, execution of loop but it will skip the rotation of a particular loop. So here if count is equals to 5, then continue will uh, skip the remaining instructions. It means this system.out.print will not execute and control will directly move to count plus plus uh, statement. So in short, uh, continue uh, has skipped system.out.println. So we can say that this loop will repeat 10 times, but uh, because of continue, it will uh, execute only 9 times. So output will be printed on 9 times means 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 will be printed on console. 5 will uh, will be skipped. And after completion of for loop, the system.out.println uh, will print used continue to skip printing 5. So this message will be uh, printed on console. Similar to uh, labeled break, we have labeled continue. So again, uh, we can use label uh, with the statement. So uh, with this for loop, I have used begin label and it is enclosed in this uh, curly base. 
and inside if uh, continue keyword is used with the label so uh, this continue will transfer the control where the uh, where this label begin is written so if count is equals to 5 then control will automatically transfer to this begin label so we can also use nested labels in labeled continue uh, similar to labeled break so uh, this is also new in java so break and continue are available in uh, c and c++ but labeled break and labeled continue are available only in java language so uh, implement these programs uh, in your systems so that you can understand the working uh, by seeing the output of these programs so these are my information you can use these information for your placement purposes thank you for watching this video